Greetings fellow Vatgrown Warriors, Rodelmon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld, the first one to go. Episode 242, Collateral. Well that's annoying. I uh... I moved one of the shelves full of chem fuel down here and approximately zero of the chem fuel followed the shelf because apparently there was enough room on the remaining shelves to not even bother. Tons and tons of my colonists are, um, are idle, but that's fine. They can recreate and, oh, here we go. We have a Puaco raid. Pig skinny Puacos. Um, so I'm going to close my door and have the Puacos fight the mechs and possibly the trade caravans and I'm going to stay out of it. Because they are unusually clever, uh, but that doesn't mean they're sappers or uh, breachers. It means they try to avoid traps. And like turret fields of fire, which I have almost no turrets, so it's kind of moot. There's a lot of piggies. 104. The pigs go marching one by one. Wait a minute. You look like breachers. Oh, you know what it is? Um, I closed the door and they had to recalculate their pathing. I'm a little worried that they're going to misbehave, though. So I'm going to stand at the ready to mess them up. Because I'm just not comfortable with this many sappers with grenades at my walls. <laughs> this pig's name is Rotund. Mm-hmm. You sure are. This is just Wendy doing insurance. They're pathing. They're having a lot of trouble, like, figuring out where they want to travel. I'm also going to turn off my turrets. They should be... Okay, so I think what's happening here is they're still pathing to the door that I had closed. So I need to offer them a valid target and then for them to reassess their targets. So essentially get messed with by Wendy. So now Wendy is a valid target. And then have Wendy drop from their target list for them to reassess who they attack next, which I just did. Essentially gaming the system, but you know, that's what I do. And now they're actually going where I want them to. Why are, well, except for this one. Poik here is like, you know what? Everyone's going west, but I'm 14. I'm rebellious. I'm going to go east. Have fun with that, Poik. I'm not sure who I think will win, though. I think it will be the Puacos given their sheer numbers, but they're fighting like pretty stupid right now. Where they're just rushing in. Oh my God, one his name is Tusk. Hogub Tusk Kolob. Where did, nah, uh, did Tusk die? I lost track of where Tusk was. Maybe they're alive? I'm gonna go with, maybe.
Their grenadiers are doing so much collateral damage. They keep throwing frag grenades on one another. But it's effective. I mean, they are clearing out the, uh, the centipedes pretty effectively. And they're going to leave me with very little to do. And this is exactly why I didn't bother clearing the, uh, the cluster, because I figured humanoids would do it. Because it's the 1st of September, so it's still a, a temperate enough. Oh, what? Wall? I had my walls broken. The last of big skins are gone. Uh, I am going to have Wendy get in on this fight, only because as a bloodlust, it would be really good if she had a bunch of killed someones and witnessed bloodlust, because it would make other people happier, because she has a uh, harmonizer. But for now, I'm leaving everyone else out, as it's not as necessary for to get them in it. And am I going to use these people as human shields? You better believe it. I got to be careful about friendly fire, though, because uh, my allies would be pissed if I clipped them. Ooh, I think I just got a double kill. <laughs> yep. Well, maybe. Kind of hard to tell. There's a lot going on. How many kills does Wendy have in her records? I will check in just a sec. Uh, almost 877. Turrets? Nah, I don't need to waste my uranium on uh, little Poco people. They have probably have their numbers about halved at this point, meaning that they're due for a... Uh, they're due for a flea in a second. Now, what did the 14-year-old end up doing? Uh, nothing. Pacing. Cool. Very angsty. Good job, 14-year-old. You've bored me with your angst. Well, there's a lot of fire on that end of the wall, so I'm just going to close the door and ignore it. How many more Pocos are there? 53, and they showed up with 105, so they're almost halved, meaning that they're about to flee. Hey, it's Lips. I loved her in M.A.S.H. surprised that they're still here.
Oh, they're going after this trade caravan. I was like, don't I have my door closed down there? I like how I got uh, shot in the kidney during this fight, and my kidneys are already back to normal. <laughs> that gives Wolverine a run for his money. Other shooters, you want to join me? You are welcome to. These Puacos are surprisingly persistent. Huh. You know, this area of my, uh, my map tile smells oddly of prosciutto. Strange. I can't believe they're still coming. No, now, now they're fleeing. Some of them are fleeing to this door, and I don't really want them to break my door, so I'm gonna do something about that. But um, the kill someone times five is more like times. 15. Like, Wendy just killed a whole lot of people. Question. Are Puacos always pigskin? Yes, okay, so there won't be any um, base liners in this raid. Got it. All right, that's good enough. Satiated my bloodlust. If I was smart, uh, Wendy, just come out of here. You're you're the happiest. I'm gonna have her smash the assembler, cause uh, I don't really need centipedes printing. Patch the steel door. Uh, it's yeah. Um, okay. We'll do. It's not a super vulnerable point, but you're not wrong. I should fix it up. And Wendy, come over to the trade beacon because I'm about to get Neuroformers. So, uh, who gets the Neuroformer? So, Mass? Oh, uh, uh, Mechanator. Um, the best. The... Wendigo with, or the subject with the genetic experiment with the best traits. Genetic experiment with the best genes. Or other viewer suggestions. That you guys pick. It's unlikely that I'm going to get more than one. So it's, it's really only who goes from zero to one. As it's, it would be really strange if I got more than one more neuroform, you know, stuff like first neuroformer quest I've been offered, f full stop. So, I don't, I don't expect to see much more of that.
What do those do? They're the uh, Psycast. They give you Psycast abilities. And there's six levels of Psycast abilities, so it unlocks the first of six levels. Well, I suppose there's not a good reason for everybody to be on um, base lockdown now. All the threats are dead. So I'll lift the lock. Just know that uh, it's almost inevitable that it'll be attacked again soon. So although I'm lifting the lock, everybody that goes outside the walls are uh, hypothetically endangered because I know I'm going to be attacked again. It's like a, it's basically a guarantee. So I like, uh, this is going to be my banks of, of, um, chem gens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not bad. That's a, that's a good amount of power, I think. Power on demand. How many corpses are on the map tile? 668. And I've been butchering them a lot. A lot, a lot. Also, if you were wondering, um, most kills, obviously it goes to Wendy. She now has 891. But second place would be Mass. Only, I think, probably given time. But Mass is way ahead of everyone else by a long shot. Surprisingly, Frosty as a brawler has 150. That's, like, excessively impressive for a brawler. Uh, so genetic experiment with best traits. Uh, that is a rather subjective. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm going to figure out who that might be. I'll try to list them. So, 88 Jack, who becomes the Psycaster. So 88 Jack is one option. Two Smart Night Owl Optimist. All good traits, pretty much. Uh, and then Stevie Viper, Nimble, Super Mean, Fast Walker. Those are excellent traits. What's funny is <laughs> Kath with Teetotaler, Hard Worker, Beautiful as a single phage. But yeah, I'm not giving it to a slave. Uh, surprisingly, that is the list. Unless we give it to a Crypto Sleeper, which would be weird. So between 88 Jack and Stevie Viper. That, that those are choices if we're going for genetic uh, for uh, traits. So Jack is a um, too smart night owl optimist who I think doesn't sleep. Yeah, who does not sleep ever now because of the implantation. And then Stevie Viper. Oh, we're getting attacked again. Uh, Stevie Viper was nibble, super immune, fast walker. Uh, Okay, where, where are they? Oh, Diabolises. And it's a Preparawa raid. Okay. I think what I'll do is I'll sneak a Berserk. I'm also going to need to open up this door to offer up the mechs a valid path into the base. And given that there's enemies outside, maybe put everyone back in the lockdown.
Oh, they're staging there. What a weird place to be. Rise it. You look, um, actually kind of cool. I know it's not a cataphract helmet, but given that you wear a shield belt, I'm okay with it. Of him wearing the uh, prestige helmet that I got. That's fine. I'm a little tempted to aerodrome salvo, just because I have so much excess honor. But this is such a ripe target for berserks that that's probably the route I'm going to go. Uh-oh, Amtas is leaving. Please leave to the east. Because depending on how you leave, you might... Well, I guess I don't care. Tank crowd! Uh, you became a child. You are... Allowed to be a colonist. So you will remain a colonist for now. It would be uh, satisfying to get a salvo. You know what? I'll do it. Zayla, I'll do it. Because you said so. Skyra, you also became a child. And you're allowed to be a colonist, so you will remain a colonist for now. And Stevie Viper, congratulations. Uh, you win by slim margin. So when I find that Neuroformer, yeah, I actually found it pretty quick. Uh, he has zero psychic sensitivity. So we're going to give it to him, but I'm just going to have to rework his Xenogene. It's fine. So I'm making myself invisible first so that they don't try to move around to attack me. And then I'll position the salvo a little bit further south. And then also um, get a quick berserk on them so that they're fighting each other so they don't try to leave the area. Because if you start attacking them, they start stop preparing and they'll start marching towards the base. So it's best if I, uh, if I do a little Berserk aggro. I'm being attacked by Yakish. <laughs> and it's a siege. Uh, you know what? I'm okay with that. I will uh, counter siege with mortars. This is going to backfire so badly on the legionaries shields. Oh god, you guys are going through that door. That's not good. Last stream I had no attacks. Well, some of this is because I turned on the uh, reactor. So these are reactor raids. Which definitely influences whether or not you get attacked. Uh, you know? Trala. Close that door. We can get these mechs to go fight the Yakish. The thing about the Yakish is I might want to shell them so that they don't get to shell me first. So, Mass, Blow, and Lilin, you're up on the mortars. Stop what you're doing. And go, man. At this point, I think all of the trade caravans that showed up are, like, dead. <laughs> Alright, don't hold fire. Just aim for their shells. That would be delicious. So they do have a Doomsday Launcher. Oh, they have three Doomsday Launchers and six Triple Launchers. So these guys are, uh, strapped. To say the least. Oh, good hit. We got a whole bunch. Uh, the Dobloses took a chunk of my walls out. Annoying. I'll have to replace those. Oh, we hit the shells. Oh, go to shell. Ha <laughs> ha. 
All right, so now they're assaulting the colony, and the only vile target is these mechs. So they're just going to fight the mechs. Because I'm behind my walls with doors closed. Uh, you guys can hold fire and reload. Now, there's a very fair chance that um, the signal chips get just deleted and destroyed due to Doomsday Launchers and the like being fired. Uh, but I already have signal chips that I'm not even using right here. So if that happens, it's like big whoop. I'm already deleting. I'm already ignoring signal chips. So it's not not really a big deal because I don't think I don't think there's really anything for me to benefit from signal chips. I already have um, the mech gestation processors times six for all of my mechanators, all of them. So that's 24 signal chips already invested. And then control sublinks for Wendy up to three and for low up to six. So it, yeah, it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't be, and Bryce it up to three. Yeah, it wouldn't be helpful at all. Bison, can you go away? You're like luring the enemies annoyingly closer to vulnerable points of my base. And I don't like it. Thank you for killing the bison. What's funny about this duke out is they're having their big duke out right in front of my uran uranium slug turrets. I don't want to use the uranium slug turrets though because um, the slug, they would just doomsday launch them and it would be annoying. But it's, it's very fortuitous, the positioning. Nice. You guys totally just shot each other. Oh, what the hell? No. No, no, no. Get the hell off my door. It's amusing when you fight each other. It is not amusing when you fight my buildings. Oh, here we go. Good shots. There is still two triples and two dooms in play. If you were wondering. There's another triple. Oh, that's not good. They broke the geo wall, so I have to shut this door. Ow! Hey! Watch it! It's my geothermal generator there. Yeah, that's why I was like, I'm not a fan of them moving towards the vulnerable parts of my base, because this is exactly what I thought would happen, which is collateral damage. Alright, I think that was the last triple. Yep, so they're down to no more doom or triples. Uh, this signal chip is... Funny enough, going to be destroyed by the other Diabolus. Oh, it missed by one cell. Swell. Do a little berserking. Because I am pretty certain that, uh, oh, that's on fire. That sucks. I'm pretty certain that um, the Yakish are going to win. And with that in mind, let's go ahead and prep a counter attack. Oh, that's a bad spot for you to be in. Get away from the fire. We don't need a fire panic. So I, I casted a little water skip to help the geo not burn. Just 
so there's valid targets now up here. So the, the raid is going to turn around and go target those guys. And I think what I'll do, if I can get this fire to go out, is to fight... Yeah, there it goes. Is to start attacking them from, from two ends. So to fight this direction as well. Having Wendy mess with these guys. Yes, you just shot an invisible person. Because that totally makes sense. Yeah, she's cheeky and shot through the door. Yep. It's like a hit squad. Uh, you are probably about to be... Yeah, you're about to be visible. Time to move. I feel like they were punching me while I was invisible. And they're fleeing. Uh, don't even go invisible. There's no point. I'm going to unrestrict because all the threats are gone. And uh, definitely micromanage to make sure that the repairs are done in a timely... Uh, fashion, because I don't want that geothermal generator going down. I sort of foresaw that. I called it out that I didn't like where they were fighting, because there'd be collateral, and there was collateral. It's not a big deal. It's just kind of annoying. But I think through water skip, I managed to, um to keep from losing the geothermal. Maybe put a fire foam there? Well, it, it's going to be rare that like a random doomsday launcher collateral will blast through that wall. You know, it's, it's not something that's going to happen often enough to warrant that. I think. If you're wondering, the reactor is uh, four days in. It's almost a third. Did the sand ship survive? Uh, one, two, they both did. I'm not really sure what I'm going to make with them, but, like, whatever, I'll have them. How'd you go down? Why have you been alive so long? Oh, you just burned. Okay, yeah, you're going to lay there for a while. How many corpses are on the map tile now? 7-Eleven. All of a sudden, for some uh, seemingly unrelated reason, I want like a, a uh, an icy, like a a blue icy. They call blue raspberry, which is funny, like a totally made up flavor. And raspberries are never blue. Big old riddle. So, Stevie, I, uh, I need to give you, um, hypersensitivity. So, Stevie is our farmer. No, no, you're not. Okay, so you're just going to be a sidecaster. Uh, got it. So, Stevie is going to be a brawling sidecaster. I don't think they have any other skills. Yeah. 
So let's uh, do a little Xener German implantation for Stevie. You have robust and reduced pain already with dark vision. Good. So super fast wound healing. Uh, super sensitive. Super clot. Uh, fire resist. I don't even know what uh, Psychasty got. Guess I'll have to check. Uh, unattractive. Nearsighted. Great melee. Awful plants. Awful cook. Awful art. Awful int. Awful craft. Awful animal. Awful. Awful everything. So plus four. That's a lot to work with. You know, maybe I give you never sleep. Unstoppable. And I would like to give you a very fast runner and very happy. So maybe I'll try to lose some things I don't need. Super fast wound healing and super clot. Like, I don't think I use that often uh, to, to warrant. Um, heat weak is another freebie. And then I need one more point from somewhere. Your melee is probably high enough you don't even need great melee anymore. I bet. So I'm going to get rid of great melee and have two free points. Because most of my brawlers are so deep into the, like, level 28 that it's, like, not helpful. So we'll give you a longer to fingers and... S oh, smooth tail is bound up with other stuff. A longer to fingers and... Hmm. Something. Oh, I could give you Heat Week and Sterile, and then you have two points for... I have no idea what. Maybe you get, uh... Super Clot. Or actually, let's give you Acid Spray. Okay. I mean, your name is Viper, so spraying acid's kind of... correct. There we go. I did give him Sterile. I've still been using... I mean, he's a 5. I don't know. I feel like it's okay. If I regret it, I can always retool it. Okay, the uh, the chemgens are all set. Everything, everything hemogenic requires uh, hemogen as a as a as a gene. So, if you are trying to add any of the hemogenics, like let's say piercing spine or hemogen drain or long jump legs, long jump legs last year. Prere prerequisite gene, hemogenic. You can't add any of the sanguifage genes without hemogenic. And I haven't scanned hemogenic, so there's no way to reverse engineer uh, vampirism as a result. I got that as a question uh, on YouTube comments. And until I get hemogenic, which is here, I can't make my own vampires. And I've been trying to scan it, and I've just not been getting it. Oh, one thing I can do, though, is go to mass and remove this heart. Because I don't need to scan great social anymore. Okay, we are now enclosed. That's good. The western wall is still a bit of a... needs a bit of work. 
but that's getting repaired now. That section got repaired. Yeah, so we're sort of back to normal. Oh, this needs to be open. Glad I caught that. Ah, I there is another signal ship up there. I didn't see that. Well, until now. How'd you die? How lucky am I? You exploded from the salvo, and somehow I did not destroy the signal chip. That is incredible. So you died to the last salvo, or subsequent salvos missed the, the chip. Pretty lucky. All right, so how's the bodies going? Uh, Jackie Chan will be out soon. I have an empty pod. Uh, what? Who who got out? Or was it always empty? Did someone age out of it? It was never filled? Okay. I guess. Thank you for watching The First Windigo, which originally streamed live on Twitch August 13th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my gaming community, it also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Wendigos.